Intermarium is an exhibition um, delivered from the uh, political uh, uh, concept, uh, the concept of Intermarium that uh, was present in the history of, of, of this part, central part of Europe, uh, from 18th century until now. Uh, and it's a concept that has this aim to balance the power in, uh, in the Europe, especially in the central part of the Europe, uh, always stuck in between the powerful Germany and uh, Russia, two different uh, types of uh, civilization, West and East, always stuck somehow in between uh, these two forces. Mm, and Intermarium should be, would be um, uh, an empire created between two seas. That's why it's uh, from, from Latin inter uh, uh, mare, uh, between two seas, between the Baltic Sea. And, um, and the Black Sea. This concept was created in the 18th century and uh, it was very ongoing, very interesting and people were, were following it in uh, uh, the times on the, of the 20s and the 30s between two world wars when we, when we had the situation that new countries were established and there was an idea to create some kind of uh, political alliance between uh, uh, Hungary, Bulgaria, Poland, Czech, uh, Czechoslovakia back then, also sometimes uh, there are mentioned Baltic countries in this. Uh, we decided to use the, the, this figure of an intermarium, uh, the, the, to use it as a, some kind of uh, excuse to talk about how uh, we can easily, basing on the wishful thinking, basing on uh, um, some uh, uh, phantasmatic uh, ideas of the countries that never existed, um, how, how can we um, analyze the current history, the current uh, situation, the current political situation in, uh, of, uh, of, of Europe and especially of this part of Europe. Um, so, in a way, uh, me and the second uh, curator, Łukasz Białkowski, we wanted to create a, some sort of field for an inspiration and, uh, and fill it with, uh, with an art pieces and also inspire the artists to uh, bring some new works that could be uh, suitable with this uh, with this subject, uh, we create a map of terms and ideas which we'd like to uh, follow in in this um, in the concept of an intermarium. Uh, there were four main points. That was the the history means the, the need for uh, uh, for an empire the, that was uh, very present in in the history uh, through, through the years, the need for an empire that would reconnect uh, Slavic countries but also um, countries from, from this part uh, of Europe as such. Mm, this is the history. The, uh, another point was the politics and uh, um, that means the, the current political situation, the crisis uh, of European Union, the crisis of Visegrad, uh, also the, the, the rising uh, 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 rightist uh, power uh, in Hungary and in Poland. And then there was uh, a visual culture and by visual culture or more like a visual identity uh, we wanted to give this task to the artist like what if we would create this intermarium what if uh, what would be the uh, language of symbols the visual language of this country could you bring some ideas and some uh, um, some examples and the last one uh, and the most interesting one I think was psychoanalysis and under that we wanted to um, analyze all the, the myths, all the dogmas uh, that are present in each of the nations from, uh, from Central uh, Europe and that were in a way uh, used, for instance, uh, once, uh, once when we were under uh, um, Austro-Hungarian uh, uh, Empire, then when we created uh, the Eastern Bloc uh, um, community or uh, again an alliance. Um, so psychoanalysis and through this uh, uh, myths, methodologies and also uh, this kind of nationalistic feeling that we want to build an empire, we want to uh, reunite under some bigger idea um, and, and create a, a powerful um, country that could balance the power in, in this part of Europe. Also in terms of the uh, art that you could see uh, here, very often it's an art that uh, it's uh, uh, in a way in between this propaganda language, uh, the, the, the very strong visuality. We, we wanted to uh, uh, find out what is the meaning of politically engaged art 
That's why most of the art pieces here, they are either playing with it ironically or um, trying to, to engage this political uh, uh, senses, this political meanings in their art pieces. Mm -hmm.